great to be here. I love being at the Jerusalem Fund always. Um, Dagmar wanted me to say a little bit about the Heritage Foundation, and I will, but uh, really our focus will be on Anna Rikke May, the artist. Um, but 27 years ago, my husband and I established the Palestinian Heritage Foundation based on a collection, several collections of costumes, traditional Palestinian costumes that later expanded into other Arab countries, including a large Syrian collection, 19th century, 20th century clothing, and uh, all the Arab countries uh, represented very small. So uh, among, we started first focusing on the costumes and then I realized to really get a picture of the art scene in Jerusalem that was a lot of it feeding into the costumes. Uh, I had to, to get, since my aunts and uncles were very artistic also, I wanted to get a collection of art in Palestine. And uh, we started with uh, my uncle Jamal Badran's pieces. And then I started expanding. Then one day we found a collection of a gentleman called Drolla Foley in uh, the Midwest, Illinois, and his wife, his widow actually, he had passed away, his widow had a small but very good collection that we acquired. Years after we acquired the collection, I'm talking to her on the phone, and I tell her, I'm so curious, you know, you have all these beautiful things from Palestine, but no paintings. She said, well, I do have a few. That was more than 10 years after I'd known her. <laughs> I told her, well, please send me pictures. So she sent me a few Xerox copies. I looked at them, and, and one of them was that a picture against the red wall that I fell in love with. So right away, sight unseen, we agreed on the price, and she mailed them to me. So I get this little folder, and they are papers in a folder, six of them, un unlined on everything, just as crude as one can, and then beautiful, beautiful pictures that you see there. So I fr framed them right away, and that was 20 years ago. And then later on with time, we kept increasing any time we saw anything on internet here and there. We added a few more pieces. Now there's a total of 13 pieces, and we're discovering. Now, I wanted to know who Anna Richter was. Google, then, 20 years ago, you'd find maybe two lines from Haaretz magazine about her and her husband. Her husband was an artist, too, in Jerusalem. Turns out the story was this. In they met later on in life. I think they were about 60s. Uh, he had been married before, and they had left Europe and come to Jerusalem and lived in Jerusalem from 1923 until she died 1955. So a good 30 years, and she died when she was 90. So from 60 years to 90 years old, she was painting Jerusalem, the scenery, a lot of street scenes, about most of her paintings are street scenes of Jerusalem. And then I'm looking at our pictures and I see a lot of individual people like close up, which is at all not her style. And then I talk some more to the widow of Rolla Foley, the person who had collected from her. Turns out uh, besides the letters that they had uh, written to each other, which I sent, she told us that he had actually commissioned her. He was a student of music in Ramallah, and he had commissioned musicians, which is why you see about four paintings of musicians with their instruments. And he was very interested in the different kind of very uh, uh, traditional, old, kind of crude instruments that were being used on a very simple level in the villages in the mountains. And of course, the oud, which is well known, all that. So that's why you see these very unusual pictures of hers. And the others are, she was a woman, and uh, one of the very few women painting about Palestinians in, in the early 20th century, therefore focused more than others on women. The paintings are all watercolor, and any information that anybody has, I'd be very happy to see. I went around and asked in Jerusalem, a lot of Arab families who had been there for a long time. Arab families did not buy paintings in general and did not buy her paintings. Her paintings are all over Europe, sold to visitors who came to Jerusalem. Some of the pictures are in Stern Gallery um, in Tel Aviv. Her figures, if they, ha if, uh, she would paint a lot of Palestinians and a lot of the traditional Jewish uh, garb.
nothing modern. I mean, uh, Jerusalem was quite modern by then, but you don't see any modern life in her pictures. She was uh, looking for what a tourist would enjoy looking at. But I think what she did was better than most other painters. She loved the people she was painting, and you could see it in her paintings. The real life, they're not Orientalists in the negative sense of the word.